What's up guys, the Panthers here, and welcome to another episode of Juiced. Um, it's aka a ruin a random, I don't even know what to call it these days, but um, today guys, as per popular request, I have got a zero chemistry juiced up team. Um, most of these players you've seen juiced anyway because I've used them in the BPL juice team and the my favourite ultimate team juice team. Uh, the only player you would not have seen at this stage is Borja Valero, but he's got 82 pace, 95 shooting, 99 dribbling and passing, 87 defending and 81 heading. Um, we've got Bale up here who's got a crazy, crazy good card. Um, and a, a, for me, Ribéry as well has a crazy good card, 99 in all the key stats. That's, um, so, zero chem guys, I've even put a manager in there that still gives zero chem. There are a couple of links in the team between Czech and Suarez, um, and also Vertonghen and Van Persie, but um, they get zero chemistry as you can see. Uh, before we get into the game guys, if you'd like to purchase any FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check out utcointraders.com, their link is in the description, a very fast and reliable service. So we've got one game left, supposedly in Division 1. Um, I don't know how, like, it's it's broken for me. Um, and I've asked for some questions from you guys, but instead of me, like, reading through the questions as I do the video, I've actually picked out some specific some specific questions to answer. Um, some of the questions that I feel were better. Um, but first of all, I just want to ask you guys, is there been has there been an audio change recently? Like, I get a few comments recently, like, um, some people feel like my audio has got worse and some better. Um, I do do something a little bit different. I said do-do, oh my god. Um, I do do something a little bit different where I actually reduce the bass um, of the audio and that basically makes my voice a little bit clearer. Um, but someone says it sounds like I'm doing it whilst I'm in the bath or something. So um, to me, the audio sounds good. Uh, but if it doesn't sound good to you guys, then let me know and I'll uh, I'll change it up somehow and make it um, make it a bit better. So I've got a few questions. I've got ten questions here, but this should be more than enough. Um, the first question, which is one that gets asked a lot, and that is Donna or Rachel and um, Catalin M, who asks this question, is referring to um, Suits. If you guys don't watch Suits, what the hell is wrong with you? Suits is a cracking TV show. Um, and Donna and Rachel. So Rachel is a young kind of um, lawyer or wannabe lawyer, and uh, she's pretty hot. She's got kooky, uh, kooky personality. And then Donna is like a secretary for the main guy in the the series, and um, she's a redhead. She's a little bit older. I'd say she's in like her mid forties, perhaps her early forties. Um, but she's fiery, and uh, you know, I've I've been asked this question, and I've answered this question a few times. Um, this game is going to be so hard to play, by the way. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I don't, you know, it's, it's hard to pick. That's like somebody offering you, um, I don't know, let's say you've got like two favorite ice cream flavors. Oh, don't shoot. Oh, wow. Well, he's going to score. This is going to be a, an embarrassing game. Oh, what a tackle. Let's say you love chocolate and vanilla. Um, <laughs> what a way to put those two ice cream flavors. Um, and somebody says, hey man, would you like a chocolate ice cream or a vanilla ice cream? And you're just like, you know what? I'd have them both. That, that's that's, that's got to be the answer. I don't prefer any particular one over the other. Um, I think they're both great characters. And I'd, it, what would be interesting was if they were cast as different like real life people. So if Donna was like perhaps a different person IRL, um, maybe that it would be a little bit different, you know. Um, you know, the same for for Rachel. This guy just needs to shoot. I've got fucking Frank Ribery in goal. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. My, it's so hard to play with a zero chem team. These are all like really good players as well. Oh, that could be a penalty. That could be a penalty. That's save it. Get it out. There we go. All right, come on, check. Good pass. Oh, that is all right. No, that's terrible. So the next question we've got, guys, is from TJD FIFA. He says, what musicians or bands have you seen live? Who was the best? So I have seen live uh, Bruno Mars. Yes, I've seen Bruno Mars live. That's a bit sad. Um, not necessarily though, because I actually fucking love Bruno Mars. Uh, I went to see Eminem just recently. That was awesome. Um, I have seen a band called Codaline, an Irish band. I actually know the, the lead singer of that through a good friend of mine. Um, uh, that's got to be a goal. What a save, Ribery. Um, so I've seen Codaline, Eminem, Bruno Mars... Um, I'm pretty sure I went to see someone else and I just can't remember um, I, I'm almost positive there's one or two others but they're, they're the only I don't, I don't tend to go to like concerts or whatever often um, so they're the only ones I can remember for me the best person would have been Bruno Mars he's like a super entertainer like I love his music anyway um, but he's very very good as an entertainer and uh, yeah he he make me happy oh go on Neuer 
Go on, Neuer. Get that, son. Let's see what we can do from here. So that would be the answer to that question. Oh, go on. Here we go. Neuer. Can we get this good cross? Who's there? No one, because they don't make runs when they've got zero chemistry. And the next question we've got is from DMSP Gaming. Um, and this question I'm going to answer because of the the thought, the afterthought of the question. Um, and the question is, oh, he's read that like a fucking book. Um, sorry, guys. Oh, there we go. The question is, on average, how long does it take you to render a 20-minute video? Um, on my iMac, which is about a year and a half old, it would probably take me about 20 minutes to maybe 30 minutes, depending on what else I'm doing on the computer at the time, um, to render it. On the new MacBook Pro that I've just bought, come out, Keeper, I'm holding... Oh, um, yeah, on the new MacBook Pro that I've just bought, it takes me about six or seven minutes to render a 20-minute video, so it's super, super fast. It's very good. But at the end of, uh, well, any day now, um, we're waiting for the announcement of the, the um, iMac Pro. So uh, it looks like a, a, a cylinder with a hole in it. Um, it's it's just an incredible computer and it should, oh my God, and it should uh, render videos even quicker than this, maybe like a 20 minute video in about like three minutes or something, which would be sick. Um, the afterthought for that question was, um, I get asked a fair few, I wouldn't say a lot, but it maybe it's something that people are interested in, maybe it's not. I get asked to do, not necessarily a setup video, but a how I make my videos video. Um, so if you guys would like to see exactly how I make my videos from start to finish in a video, um, let me know in the comment section. Uh, leave a like on the video, that would be fantastic as well. Oh my god, that is terrible. And um, yeah, that then if, if it's something that is actually highly requested, I would happily do that. Um, you know, it's it's one of those videos because you never really know what people do. Like everyone has different um, ways of making videos, different. Uh, oh crap! Um, yeah, just different ways of doing things. I know, like someone, someone that I'm quite close to does things completely different to me, and it's like, oh damn, you do it like that. Maybe I have to try that out. Right, go on, go on, Valero. Oh, you've got no strength because you're a faggot. Um, right. So the next question we've got, guys, is from. Dot. And um, Dot asks, and this is a question that I get asked actually a fair bit, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd address this one. He asks, why is your team abbreviation 666? Um, there's no real reason why. It was just, just for a bit of a laugh. You know, when um, I, I got to a certain level on this account and it allows you to change your team name, and I was having a lot of people get scammed or like buying cards on the market because other people use my team name. Um, no, Neuer. Um, so like my old team name, I think was uh, old, just Ultimate Team or something like that. Um, and other people make their team that so that when they list cards on the market, people think it's them. So when I had the ability to change my team name, I changed it and I just put 666 in there for literally no reason. A, a little bit of a laugh, a little bit of banter. This game is really, really laggy all of a sudden. Um, what I didn't really think about which is something I should have done and, and should have paid a bit more attention to to you guys and, and had a little bit more respect for um, the people that watch my videos is that I didn't you know I didn't really click that it would be genuinely offensive to some people to have that as my abbreviation if he scores from the, a bit of lag I'll be pissed um, yeah I didn't really click that, oh my god that um, it would be offensive to anyone and for that I apologize the only issue now is, is it's genuinely too late for me to change it because I can't change the team name a second time that's something you only get uh, one of um, so uh, yeah I'm unable to change it go on Valero um, but it's it's been noted that it that it offends some people and uh, I won't be using it as a, as a future team name so don't worry about it um, you know if, and, uh, and again I apologize if I have offended anyone um, by using this team name go on Bale there's the shot oh, keeper saves it um, so yeah, that's that. So this this game is really tough, by the way, guys. I hope you do keep in mind that I am using a zero chemistry team, um, and I have got although I have got like super super players and they are juiced, um, they're bad. <laughs> I've used a zero chemistry team before in FIFA 12, uh, and I actually won games with it, um, which was surprising. Um, but the the issue with it is like I actually when I played the zero chem team before, I kicked off. And Robinho was one of the players that, like, the player that got the ball passed to him, and he literally touched the ball and fell over. It's like it's that bad sometimes, you know. Like, uh, how's that foul ref? Um, it's really, really tough to play with zero chem. I don't know if you've ever played with zero chem teams before. Like, chemistry has a huge implication on this game. Um, but uh, you know, oh, duh, see uh, the passing. It's, it's like playing with a bunch of uh, 
bunch of bronze players with um, with even decent chemistry. Um, so let's move on to the next question, guys. And the next question is from Mitchell Clements, and he says, "What's your favourite series you have ever done?" Oh, this guy's got a, a FIFA RLA corner. Um, get that? Yes. Uh, the fav my favourite series I've ever done. Um, I've actually got a few things that I really, really love doing. Um, Ruin a Randomer for me is one that. Um, Oh yes, come on Bale. Oh my god, let's go. I've got the cut back on. Look at the pace. Come on Bale, shoot. Go. Oh my god. I'm so disappointed. Um, I've got a few series, as I was saying, that I, that I like, that I've done. Uh, Ruin a Random is one that um, I really, really rate because it's something that people know me for. Like if 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 you say like, oh, what's AA9 skills known for? He's known for his my player. Um, you know, if, if you say what's uh, Calfrizi known for? He's known for his career mode. If you you know, there's so many different YouTubers out there that are known for different things. And I think my thing, my thing on YouTube, other than being like a whiny little pace abusing five at the back stat card bitch, is that I'm a commentator. I'm I, you know I do live comms. I've got. I talk about things that other people tend not to talk about. I actually let you guys into my life a little bit. And um, I like having that as like my thing. You know, I like the fact that I've got something almost completely unique um, to the rest of the FIFA community because very, very few people do what I do. Um, and it's, it's, oh, he's going to score there, isn't he? Yep. And it's not easy to do what I do. You know, it's, it's not easy to talk about uh, a certain subject cohesively um, whilst also playing a, um, oh, come on then. While yeah, whilst also playing a game of FIFA and trying to look good, um, and some people don't understand that. Like, there's times where, you know I get called terrible at this game, and you know I am bad. Oh, it's a penalty ref, yes, and I am bad at this game at certain times. Like, if I ever play offline and I'm not recording, not offline, but like if I ever play just a random game and I'm not recording, I have scored yes. Um, I win most of my games. Like when I do live streams and stuff, I win the majority of my games because I can concentrate on the game and I don't have to concentrate on what I'm talking about. And if anything's wrong, like you know, I can really just adapt myself to the situations of the game. When you're also trying to entertain and, and record and, and talk about a certain subject, um, oh, he's going to score, isn't he? Nope. Uh, it's it can be really, really difficult to keep your focus on um, the game and as I'm just doing here, like forgetting what I'm talking about. It could be really hard to talk about your focus on the game. Come on, Marcelo. Oh, I tried to win another penalty there. Um, yeah, it's, it's really hard to keep your focus on the game and on what you're talking about, which I've just proved right there because I, I you know, I started my uh, my conversations there just a few times. Um, oh wow, I don't even know if a keeper would have saved that, regardless of uh, whether it is a real goalkeeper or not. Um, so that's that, guys. Basically, that's um, that, my favourite series. I guess would be my ruin and random. I have liked, like, I love the play to win series, and it's a series that really doesn't get that much uh, appreciation. Um, and if you've never seen play to win, if you're like quite new here, play to win is basically where I build two teams that I really, really like and find really, really strong, and just try and go on as big win streak as possible. Um, I love that series, and it's something that was actually really requested this year. Um, so when I did it, I thought it would go down well, but people just hate it. People hate seeing me win. Um, they don't like seeing me win wagers. They don't like seeing me win pink slips. They don't like seeing me win games in general. They, people just don't like seeing me win. I don't understand what it is. Um, and it's one of those things, you know, like when I do win a game, I win it because my opponent's shit. And when I lose a game, I win it because I'm shit. And there's no... There never seems to be any like, ah, oh, you know what? Nep's actually pretty decent at FIFA because, like, I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know why you think you guys think how you think, um, but that kind of seems to be the um, the the idea. But oh, come on, Bale! No, do no, Bale! It's ah, oh, so hard to play with zero chem team. But yeah, that seems to be just one of those things that happens. And um, in Ruin and Randomer, I suppose I like I like Ruin and Randomer because I can talk about things like this and actually get my point of view out there. Whereas if you're another YouTuber and uh, you get these sort of uh, this sort of um, kind of conversation the way I get things because I, I you know I get a lot more hate than most people um, and I, I've come to kind of uh, learn that now and it's obviously something that I'm doing that's the reason behind it I, I you know I've said it a few times before I divide opinions the things that I talk about cause people to have difference of opinions and, and if you know in the in the internet world if someone has an opinion different to to me. Um, it, I'm wrong and they're right because it's the internet so how can they possibly be wrong you know it's it's one of those things um, no this is actually alright oh my god that was a pretty decent shot for a guy with zero chemistry so so yeah like I can't have an opinion 
and just people just accept that that's my opinion and have a different opinion. If they have a different opinion, I get called all names under the sun and stuff. And I realize because I talk to you guys a lot more in depth um, that I get a lot more kind of shit for that sort of stuff. And that's okay, you know, like, like I say, I've, I've come to, to learn to live with that. Um, it's just good for me that I can talk to you guys about the, the difference of opinions. Like, you know, in one of the previous videos where I talked about like coin sponsors and hypocrisy and things like that, it's pretty awesome that um, I can actually sit there and talk to you guys about that because not many other YouTubers can because they do linear series where they talk about the gameplay or they talk about, um, you know, they just do Q and A's but, or they talk about, you know, let's say a player review. You can't exactly go around talking about how you're upset with this or you're happy with that um, because it's just a video about gameplay. So for, for me, just because of that, um, the, the Ruiner Random, I'd say, would be my favorite series. And, and I've started doing Ruiner Random a fair bit um, over the last few days. You didn't need to tip that over goalkeeper. And the amount of encouraging comments that I get back from it um, is just pretty awesome. Like, it's 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 brilliant. Like, the the amount of people that love Ruiner Random um, is something that I underestimated. Like, I thought, you know, when I see other people do videos and they do videos like pack openings or whatever, which I, I do as well, you know, and I will continue to do through FIFA 14, and they get like, you know, so, so many views because of a clever title or because of a clever thumbnail. And then there's me and I do a Ruiner Random and I get like, you know, fit half the views or something, um, even though I feel like the video may be a little more in depth than actually appreciated. Uh, it, it could be quite tough to watch. So I stopped doing Ruiner Randomers and I started, um, I started doing more of the popular videos, you know, like pink slips and wagers and pack openings. Like every day at one stage I was, I was doing pack openings. And um, it, whilst it's content that people watch because they want to see you get the good things, it's not necessarily content that makes me a better YouTuber. It's just, it's that sort of stuff that will always tend to get views. But I would prefer to be the sort of YouTuber, and this is you know something that I try and um, try and do for myself and with, uh, with you guys. I prefer to be the sort of person that you get to know because if FIFA ever stops, uh, like, you know, if, if FIFA, let's say FIFA is a terrible game next year, and people just like COD over the last 12 months, um, people just stop watching um, FIFA. Uh, what, what's left for me would be that I still have a fan base of people that know me and appreciate me. And with most of you guys, you tell me that, hey, Nep, you know, I can actually watch you. I actually like listen to you or watch you and don't pay attention to the gameplay. Um, and that's awesome because that means I could do either vlogs or I could play another game on my channel and um, I'd be able to... I'd say like get away with doing that you know like if it wasn't FIFA I could play another game and talk to you guys about the same sort of stuff without FIFA being there and that would be awesome but there there are you know a few people in the community and this is literally genuinely no disrespect to them because I'm I'm happy for everyone to get views like I'm the sort of person that if if one person's thriving it's good for everyone because if, if somebody else is doing great in the community it means that he's bringing new people into the community and hopefully they will eventually find my channel which means I'll be doing better um, so you know I, I have no no grudges against anyone for doing good you know I really I'm really happy that the FIFA community is blowing up the way that it is um, but there are certain channels out there that if FIFA stopped tomorrow they have no kind of um, no kind of personal relationship with their subscribers so I don't think that they could possibly um, oh my god Bale, that was such an awful shot I don't think they could possibly keep doing videos because what what would they do kind of thing you know that I don't know if that makes sense to anyone um, oh my god um, but we're gonna go probably got time for one more question guys how many questions have I got left quite a few still um, let's skip through that one, skip through that one. Actually, the last question that I got was one that I wanted to answer. Um, and that is, oh wow, this guy's gonna go through and score there. I wonder if he cuts it back, he did. <laughs> um, so I got a question from Vegetaz07, and he says, will you expand your channel like uh, KSI did? Um, off the back of what we were just talking about, it's something I have thought about. Um, and every time I do a vlog, uh, the vlogs seem to go down really, really well. Like, really well. Um, and I always sit there and think, I wonder if FIFA is the thing for me to be doing on YouTube. Maybe vlogging is to, the thing for me to be doing on YouTube. But then, you know, I love playing FIFA and you guys love watching FIFA. And is he going to cut it back again? He is. There we go. We take a 5-1 defeat here, guys. Um, yeah, so I have thought about expanding my channel. And I always think maybe I'll just do it on my second channel. Um, because this is a like an exclusive FIFA channel. And unless FIFA does die... I've got no reason to stop making FIFA videos, you know, so um, 
I don't know. It's it's one of those tough ones. It, it'll be interesting to hear from you guys. Like, if I did stop FIFA, and don't don't worry, I'm not saying I am going to be stopping FIFA. But if I did stop FIFA in a day's time, like let's say this was my Jesus Christ, he scored three goals in the 89th and 19th minute. Um, if I did stop FIFA. Would you guys still watch me? Like, is it FIFA that brings you here or is it me that brings you here? Is it the things I talk about that you come to or is it the fact that I'm playing FIFA the reason why you come here? Is it a mixture of both? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and feedback. So I lost that game 6-1, guys. It doesn't surprise me that I lost by that much. Um, it's tough. It's super fucking tough to, to play. I, I did pretty decent. Eight shots and three on target. 50% um, possession and 77% passing is not bad with a zero chem team. Um, he had, you know, obviously a hell of a lot more shots and a lot more shots on target. And having Frank Ribery in goal uh, doesn't make things too easy. I also got two injuries there as well. Uh, Thiago Silva and Marcelo. And I don't know if you guys realize. Let's, uh, let me just go on to the um, player rating thing. I just want to have a look at the fitness because like, Vertonghen was so dead by the end of that. So look at that. Like the fitness, minus seven for the two midfielders, minus six for the, the two wingers, minus five for the center backs and the attackers. Like... It usually by the time I finish a game the fitness is minus two or minus three um, so you can tell how much they were dead which is why the guy really came like into uh, into the the beast area of the game in the last minutes because uh, my players were just dead out and uh, that's that's a pretty crazy thing um, so there we go we're 10 games into the division now you will remain in the current division I actually should have yeah should have remained in there anyway because I, I had won one that it didn't count so I would have finished on 20 points um, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this Zero Chem video. If you've got any more funny teams you want to see me juice up, um, leave them in the comment section or send me a tweet. That would be fantastic. But guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this and I will see you. Oh, wow. Look at that. How interesting is that? Look at my record. 23 draws, 43 losses and 163 wins. Like If you take off the one, that's pretty crazy. But anyway, guys, I'm outie. Peace.